Welcome to the Kindergarten Mathematics Florida Standards presentation. This presentation will give you general information about the Mathematics Florida Standards, as well as specific information about kindergarten standards. This publication was made possible by a grant from Carnegie Corporation of New York. The statements made and views expressed are solely the responsibility of the author. Why have new math standards? New standards should help our kids dig deeper so they can explain a concept or how they got an answer and develop their potential to think more critically and creatively. Any new standard should reflect best practices of schools, states, and countries around the world because our kids deserve the best education we can give them. In addition, the point of setting standards for what children should know at the end of each year is so we know when kids are ready to move on to the next level or are falling behind so we can help them catch up rather than give up. Just as every patient deserves a doctor whose knowledge is up to date, every child deserves the education they'll need to succeed. Educational standards in America need to match or exceed the standards for the best performing countries in the world. Education should be about standards, not standardized tests. Those standards should set the bar high, but be similar enough across schools so if your family takes a job across the country, is in the military and moves around, or just buys a home in a neighboring district, your child isn't either bored or disadvantaged because they don't know what's going on. That's why the states work together to develop standards for what kids ought to know by the end of each year, learning from teachers, parents, and employers, but also from the best performing schools, states, and countries, so our kids would be able to compete in a global world. Standards don't tell any state, school, or teacher how to teach or what curriculum to use. That way, teachers can continue to use their knowledge and expertise and innovate in their classrooms, and when something works, they can share it not just with the teacher down the hall, but with teachers all over the country. It is time to return to the days when American students got the best education in the world, because when they graduate from high school, technical school, or college, that is who they will be competing with for jobs. You shouldn't be teaching or testing students on their skills for rote memorization because knowledge is changing so quickly that tomorrow's workers will need to anticipate what is coming next and be able to transfer their skills to meet new challenges. Kids need to learn how to use their knowledge to think carefully, critically, and creatively to solve new problems and new dilemmas. And if that's what we're teaching, that's what we ought to be testing to make sure we are succeeding and to help kids, schools, and districts that are struggling. The Mathematics Florida Standards were adopted in 2014. These standards were modified so that all students have equal access to education regardless of their zip code. The Mathematics Florida Standards are comprised of two sets of standards, the Standards for Mathematical Practice and the Content Standards. The Standards for Mathematical Practice provide a solid foundation that helps to anchor your child's learning of the mathematics. The content standards change each year as the students progress through the grade levels, which allows for continual growth and the development of mathematicians. The combination of both the content standards and the standards for mathematical practice build a solid foundation of the Mathematics Florida Standards. The standards for mathematical practice are the backbone for building understanding in mathematics. These standards are consistent through all grade levels K-12. As your child progresses through the grades, they will refine these mathematical behaviors. The bolded print identifies the skill that your child is using as they learn their grade level standards. The content standards are composed of the following domains for each grade level. Notice that the domain counting and cardinality is only found in kindergarten. Operations and algebraic thinking, numbers and operations in base 10, measurement data and geometry are consistent across all grade levels. In third grade, the domain numbers and operations fractions is introduced. Today, the key to success, whether you're a mechanic called in to fix something you've never seen before, or a medical professional dealing with an outbreak of some new disease, is the ability to transfer your skills from one domain to the next. Education needs to give our kids core knowledge and an ability to apply that knowledge in real world settings. The chart illustrates this idea. Listed in each grade level are the critical areas that will be addressed during the school year. 
This provides a global overview of the critical content taught in each grade level. Every child develops at his or her own pace. It is important to stay in contact with your child's teacher to further support their understanding of mathematics. In kindergarten, your child will understand the relationship between numbers and quantities. They will also connect counting to cardinality. As your child places a Cheerio in each slot, they will count the number of Cheerios. The last number they say is the number of Cheerios represented. This supports counting and cardinality. Counting and cardinality is a critical area for kindergarten and a domain that will only be addressed in this grade level. Your child will also count to 100 by ones and tens. Hundreds charts and number lines are excellent tools to reinforce this idea. In kindergarten, your child will also represent 0 through 20 using objects, pictures, and numbers. Your child will also develop an understanding of addition and subtraction concepts. For example, Rita had five Skittles. Leslie gave her four more. How many Skittles does Rita have now? Modeling using tools in a 10 frame helps to develop a conceptual understanding of the actions that occur in addition and subtraction problems. Your child will fluently add and subtract within five. Fluency means quickly, within three to five seconds, and accurately supply a correct answer to an equation. In addition to supplying the correct answer, fluency also means that your child can support their answer with a self-selected strategy. The whole point of setting standards for what children ought to know at the end of each year is so we know when kids have met those standards and are ready to move on, and so we can flag problems early so kids don't fall further behind each year and eventually give up. With that being said, it's important to remember that every child develops at his or her own pace. It is important to stay in contact with your child's teacher to further support their understanding of mathematics. In other words, you are the biggest advocate for your child. This publication was made possible by a grant from Carnegie Corporation of New York. The statements made and views expressed are solely the responsibility of the author.